so here today we have a little variety of different California ground fish. Uh, all of these brought to us by the Blue Boat Fish Company here in San Pedro. We have the black cod, or also known as sable fish. I think most people are familiar with this fish as just a smoked fish that's available like in delis all across the country. It's also something that's very famous you see, the miso black cod. It's a recipe I think most people are familiar with, but it's a much more versatile fish than that. It can do pretty much anything. So when we get the fish in from Cameron and Sarah, super fresh like these are, we dispatch them using the Ikejime method. So we start with a spike, so just right in between the eyes, a little bit behind. So that sort of like scrambles the brain of the fish and kills them in the most humane way possible. So once you've, once you've spiked the head of the fish and we, we've sort of dispatched the fish that way, the way they would do it on the boat is just run the wire down the spinal column of the fish from the, the head. But the way we do it here at the restaurant is we'll make a notch in the tail and then just kind of cut through the backbone of the fish. If you focus in, you'll see that the backbone is there and just above the backbone is a little channel or a little hole. And what we'll do is we'll take the wire and put it in there and then run it from the tail of the fish all the way up to the head. It serves the same purpose of going the opposite direction, but it, here in the restaurant, it's just a little easier for us to do it. And what that does is it scrambles the nerves of the fish. So there's lots of benefits to killing fish this way. First and foremost, because it's the most humane way to kill a fish. Secondly, it has tons of benefits in terms of flavor. And then thirdly, in terms of shelf life, uh, killing a fish in Kijime style will uh, keep the fish fresher longer. I have a non-stick pan, nice and hot. I'm gonna just put the fish skin side down. We don't wanna get too dark on the skin, but we want it to be nice and crispy. You don't really need all that much oil. So once, once you get the fish started, I like to take some of the fat out of the pan. This way the fat won't burn in the pan. So that's the kind of color that we want. Preheat your oven to about 350 degrees pop it in the oven for three to four minutes and just to warm the flesh of the fish through. But here in the kitchen at Providence, we have a broiler. So I'm gonna take the pan, I'm gonna put it in the broiler right now. That will cook the opposite side of the fish, the flesh side of the fish. Okay, so now if you feel it, the fish is actually quite hot to the touch. And you see that the skin of the fish is nice and golden brown. And now I can take it, just let it rest on this rack for a couple of minutes. I just wanna prepare it for the plate. I'm gonna just trim it a little bit on either side. This is enough for two portions because we're a tasting menu restaurant, so we don't serve like big honking pieces of fish. But you can see like the skin is crispy and the fish is just barely cooked through. And that's what we're looking for. Because, you know, black cod to me, actually a lot of these ground fish species, they eat best when they're between like medium rare and medium. And so that's the way we try to serve them. We have this uh, truffle sauce. We make a broth with the bones of the fish, finish it with a little bit of butter, and then lots of truffle. Then we have a Jimmy Dardello sauce right here, which is a sweet pepper variety. Then we have our Rajas. Poblano chilies and ancho chilies. Pancetta, that's just been rendered down with a little bit of fresh cream and katsu obushi, or dried bonito flake. Last thing, we'll just put our fish right in the center. And then Tristan's gonna add a little black truffle to it. There we go. And that's the dish. <laughs>